coming into the British Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton announced that he would be retiring from Formula 1 at the end of the season. Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for the British Grand Prix. We come into my home Grand Prix this time out on a high. We are top of this championship. We're starting 16th and this is the rest of the grid. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position and starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen, Norris, Charles Leclerc and Hamilton. Fernando Alonso, Perez, Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda. Ocon, Magnussen, Guan Yu Zhou, and Albert. Stroll, Brown, Oscar Piastri, and Robert Schwartzman. Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So strategy wise, it's gonna be a pretty easy one stop. Starting on the mediums, going to the hards, later on in the Grand Prix but starting P16 we've got a comeback drive on our hands for not the first time this season and it's lights out and away we go and it looks like it's equal at the front but it looks like the Ferrari has got the better start over the Mercedes we are going to try and go to the inside going into Abbey turn one round the kink of Farmer now the trademark village dive bomb to the inside of gained some places there. Now we're on the outside of Alex Albon. Trying to go all the way around the outside of Albon. And we are through nearly. We're still side by side, he's still there. And we have to back out of it, but we swap him the dummy. Then go back down the inside of him into turn six at Brooklyn's and now into Lafayette, we've gone a bit wide and that's allowed our one to get back up the inside of us but we get the exit coming out of Lafayette and we are away behind though Albon is right behind us going through Cobbs and he's gone wide and the Alfa Romeo of Robert Schwarzman has said thank you very much and gone sailing past this is the Astro going well to him with the TV. One lap later we managed to get on the back of Joe Guan Yu. For once we were quite quick. As we head down the hangar straight. We're going to go to the inside. Into Snow. He tries to hold it around the outside. We squeeze him out. But he's still there at the inside of it is Joe. Into the Vails again. We hold it around the outside. And stay ahead. And get that position and next up is the avatari of Esteban Ocon we are gonna do what we just did one lap ago down the inside and it's job done at stone next up is Kevin Magnussen in the house he is on the soft tires though so he's gonna be going longer in this Grand Prix so let's see if we can get away and see if we can catch him Meanwhile up front things are getting very, very tense. Carlos Sainz is leading the Grand Prix. The Lando Norris wants a home GP win. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. As he goes to the outside of the hangar straight. And tries to go round the outside and stow. Has he got the job done? Yes he has. Max Verstappen is le left waiting in the wings as well. But Silverson erupts as Lando Norris takes the lead of the British Grand Prix. One lap later though, this is Max Verstappen right on the back of Carlos Sainz. Lando Norris has decided to make his first pit stop and only pit stop of the day, going on to the hard tyres as Max and so let's go through. But he has been held up a little bit there by the Alpine. This is Magnussen who we really couldn't catch we flew away from Ocon we were in a world of our own at this point at the Grand Prix not really a lot was happening on our end but one lap at the end of the next lap into the pits comes Sainz and Verstappen where are they going to come out relative to Lando and also can Red Bull get the jump on Ferrari Ferrari not very good at pit stops as we well know 
It's on to the hard tyres to do. We have one stop. Have Red Bull done it? No. They have stayed ahead there, Ferrari. Just about. This is Lando Norris then coming around the final corner. Has he done enough to keep the lead of the Grand Prix? As he is going to go flying into Abbey. There is Sainz. There is Verstappen. He has been jumped by both of them. Lando Norris going from the lead of the Grand Prix all the way down back into third place. But he's right on the back of Max Verstappen. And will be looking to try and get his way back through the field. On to lap 12 now at Ocon who we were quite far ahead of. We were in a world of our own as I mentioned a minute ago. Just we weren't quick enough to catch Magnussen but we were far too quick and got away from Ocon. So out of the pits he comes now onto the hard tyres followed by Joe. And there is Magnussen just a little bit further up the road from them. And on, on the end of lap 13 we are coming into the pits to make our one and only stop. Managed to get those medium tyres to half distance as well. There at Silverstone. But now we have the painful, painful pit lane. That is the, the Silverstone pit lane. But we go on to make our one and only stop onto the hard tyres. We do have to wait for the Aston Martin. But where are we going to come out? There is Magnussen going through the screen. There we are. And we've only just beat out Ocon. He has taken a huge bite out of the lead we had over him. But now though, can we catch Magnussen? We have a few lap younger tyres. And that's exactly what we were able to do. We tried to go down the inside at Brooklyn's. But it took us five laps all the way onto lap. 18 now, we try to go a little bit wider through Luffield and now on the exit of Luffield this could be possibly do the unthinkable but as we are getting closer, we're getting closer we're going to go to the inside and we're going to go down the inside oh Kevin Magnussen and Cops many moves have failed there before 2021, Hamilton for Verstappen they can keep it clean but we managed to with Magnussen and that is one of the overtakes of the season. This is George Russell now. On to lap 23 having a fairly good race. Or he was having a good race. As that tyre, his rear tyre, has popped on the back straight. On the hanger straight. He's still a long way from home but it's not as far as he could have been. Those hard tyres have gone bang. As he's holding up the Alpine, he's just been jumped by his teammate. Of Alonso. And Sonoda jumping in Alonso. But into the pits, he will come. And now on to lap 24. One lap later, that Ferrari engine has gone bang. It's another DNF. Another issue for Ferrari. That's now three races in a row. It's been two for Sainz, and now it's one for Leclerc. That's three engine issues in a row for Ferrari. Not good. Here we go, though. We're on the back of Gasly. We managed to pull away from Magnussen. We had a great pace on these hard tyres. We're going to try and do the same thing. We go a little bit wider, and we get a good exit there. Coming through cops. Surely, though, we can't do it again. We are going to do it again, we pull to the inside and we're going to send it down the inside of cops. We did it once, why not do it again? And we have. What a move. That is, if I do say so myself, not many times do you see moves at the inside of cops. There is a replay of it now on board with us. We just got the slipstream, we used the battery and set on the inside we went. And that time, unlike the Magnuson movie, we managed to keep it on the on the track. Now this is Gasly's point of view into, and there was a bit of hesitation from both of us. Gasly gave us space, and we managed to get through. So coming to the end of lap 25, then there's just one lap to go, and it's three of them battling out for the lead, which has been all day. And Science tries to go around the outside of 
of the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Verstappen keeps it pinned round the outside of the club. Red Bull still yet to win a race this season. So Max will be wanting to cling on for dear life. Yeah, the sight at the inside of him now. That will turn to the outside. They, neither of them are giving an inch up. Lando's waiting in the wings if these two were to wipe each other out. And it looks like Sainz has got the job done with DRS and now there here is Lando round the outside of Max Verstappen and maybe even tried Sainz there but Sainz is away and to the inside of Luffield. Lando Norris gets the job done on Max Verstappen as well. Verstappen's gone from looking at a win to only P3 unless he can work some magic as they go through Maggers and Beckett's then. It looks, can Lando snatch the win off of Sainz and get his first home Grand Prix win? As we head down the back tree, here does go Lando, he's going to go to the outside, going into Stowe, he tries to go round the outside. Sainz shows him the door and that may just be it as we go into the fail chicane. And they're going to finish. Look at that. Just half a second will cover the top three as they cross the line. And it's a win for Carlos Sainz. And it went horribly wrong for Verstappen on that last lap. Here is Gasly though. We couldn't get away from him. Tries to go to the outside of us. We show him the door. Heading down into Vail. It looks like we are done. We started P16. And we will come home for P8 and a good recovery drive. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So it's a great win for Carlos Sainz then, wins the British Grand Prix and what was an incredible last stint of the Grand Prix, what a last lap, Max Verstappen crumbling on the final lap going from the lead to only P3, but he had a good comeback drive pulling off two sensational moves on Magnussen and on Gasly at Cops. Looking at the drivers then, Carlos Sainz has the lead of the championship back after that, those Two disappointing races in Monaco and Canada, those two DNF, with me having a poor race and Leclerc's retirement means that he is now back in front. It's poor reliability even more for Ferrari. That's now three DNFs in a row for them. Two for Sainz, one for Leclerc, but it's not hurting them too much because they are still way clear of the constructors. I think they focus more on the drivers, so it's still looking good for them. There's still many races to go. There's still four to go this season. We still need to go to Spa, Monza, Mexico, and then we head to Brazil for the one and only sprint race of the season to round out the season. But it is looking like a four-way fight at the top of of the table and hopefully we can be there to be pulled out on top but it is time for the summer break now and we will come back hopefully very refreshed when we head to spa